Hello, my friends, and welcome. Thanks for joining me. I'm Cheryl, and this is Your Journey Yoga. Today, we are going to do a yoga practice that is um, for physical and mental health. So, um, really kind of focusing on getting the breath and the intention and letting the asanas just kind of flow through us. Uh, always working to let go of um, anxiety, stress, tension, any kind of negative energy. But really I want you to focus on just your well-being, uh, your, your health, um, letting go of expectations, letting go of things that weigh you down, noticing if they are things that are yours or if there are things that you are holding for other folks. And if they are things that you are holding on for other folks, you have permission to let those go. They can weigh us down. So the heaviness of, and the burdens from others can really impact our health and our well-being mentally and physically. So as we move through our practice, noticing where you're holding the tension and sending your breath to that space. So a lot of times negative energy settles in the neck, the hips and the lower back, particularly the necks and the hips. Um, so just focusing on that and know that it's okay, that everything's gonna be okay and that you're doing exactly what you should be doing to help yourself be the best you that's possible to remain healthy, to get healthy um, mentally, physically. Um, yoga is amazing. Uh, whether you deal with anxiety, stress, tension, or you don't, um, and keeping those things at bay. It's just an overall wonderful experience. So let's get on with that experience, shall we? Um, so please, please, please subscribe. If I can encourage you to do that, love to, just to get the um, message out there and to share the love of yoga um, with as many people as possible. That's my goal. All right, guys, a seated position that feels okay to you. Cross-legged is wonderful. If cross-legged is just not in the cards today, that is absolutely fine. And we're going to rest our hands on our shins just below our knees, taking a big breath in, press the chest forward, arch your back, gaze to the sky. Exhale and hollow the tummy and chest, press your spine towards the back, tuck your chin. Inhale, press it through, arch your back. So just big, full, deep breaths as we transition between cat and cow, articulating those vertebrae one at a time, and just tying our movements into our breath. As we begin to move, we allow ourselves to be present just right here within the four corners of our mat. Let go of everything else. Last cat, and we're gonna come back to find that neutral spine and we're gonna make circles with that upper body as though you were stirring a pot. Does not matter which direction you're going. Eyes can be open or closed. We're just gonna make those circles as big as feels right to you and notice if you're holding tension anywhere. So do you find a spot where you're like, oh, there it is. We all generally have them. If you don't, celebrate that, you guys. Anytime we come someplace and you're like, this feels amazing, celebrate that. Last rotation, as your tummy and chest come towards the front, pause for just a moment, and let's switch directions. Breathe. Again, eyes can be open or closed. I just want you present within the body, within the breath, clearing that mind, Stop in the chatter, just present last rotation as your tummy and chest come towards the front, pause for just a moment and walk those hands forward, releasing the weight of the upper body down. Relax the head, feel that nice stretch in that lower back. Breathe in love into the body, big full deep breath, oxygenating the blood, the brain, quieting thoughts and let's just gently alternate to lifting the ribcage so just that little rotation through the torso hands are just staying resting to the mat and we're just lifting one side and then the other doesn't have to be super fast I just want you to feel that nice stretch and how it influences the stretch in the lower back how it incorporates the strength in those obliques and we come back to center. Inhale, reach it out. Sit up nice and tall. Release your hands down by your sides. Inhale, lift that left arm. Reach it up and over. 
Turn your gaze to the sky. Give a little roll of that left shoulder back. Long, beautiful stretch all the way down that left side. Inhale, reach to the sky. Both arms come up. Exhale, left hand down, right arm high. Take it up and over, pressing that right sit bone towards the mat. A little roll of that right shoulder back with a gaze towards the sky. Just a big, beautiful stretch all the way down the side. Inhale, reach to the sky. Both arms come up. Exhale, let's rotate and tap the fingertips. Inhale, reach to the sky, come back to face front. And exhale, rotate in the opposite direction. Little tap of the fingertips. Inhale, reach to the sky, come back to center one more time each side. Rotate with a little tap. Reach, come back to center. Exhale, other side, one more time. Little tap. And come back to center. Release the arms down by your side. Let's come forward and up onto all fours to a tabletop position. Hands are shoulder width apart. Knees are hip width. Core is nice and strong. We inhale and extend left arm and right leg. Squaring our hips. Lifting out of that right shoulder. Adding a flex of that right foot. Breathe. Core is strong. We're going to inhale and we're going to lower the hand and the leg. And then lift. So as we lower and lift, we're not arching the back. We're staying strong through the core. And as we lift and lower, we're working the muscles through those hamstrings and those glutes. Can you feel that? Breathe. Still lifting out of that right shoulder, last one. And release it down. Core strong, other side. Extend it out. Lift out of that left shoulder. Lengthen and reach to the fingertips. Add a flex of that left foot. Square those hips. Keep that belly button drawn in and up and slowly lower tap and raise tap and raise so as we raise we want to make sure that that belly doesn't drop towards the mat creating that arch in the back we want to stay strong through that core so not only are we working the hamstrings the glutes the shoulders but we're really working that core last one and release Core strong, shifting your weight to your right hand, left hand sweeps through between the arm and the leg, shoulder to the mat, side of the head to the mat. Rotate your body and extend, right arm to the sky, reach it up, just as high as you can reach. Spread your fingers and see if you can reach any higher. Lifting out of that left shoulder so we're not sinking into the neck and the shoulder. A variation of thread the needle. Exhaling and releasing that right hand down. Press it back up to tabletop. Shift your weight to your left foot. Right hand sweeps through. Shoulder to the mat. Side of the head to the mat. Rotate your body and reach. Left arm to the sky. Reach it up. High as you can reach. Again, we're not sinking into that right shoulder, but rather lifting out of it. Spread your fingers and see if you can reach any higher. Breathe. Beautiful stretch through that upper and middle back. Exhaling and releasing that left hand down, coming back to tabletop. Center your weight and set it back to child's pose. Extend those arms out nice and low. Hips back towards your heels, forehead towards the mat. And just breathe, my friends. Extending those arms out nice and long, hands shoulder width apart, spread your fingers wide. Let's lift the forehead, tuck the toes, press and lift your hips to the sky. Downward facing dog, feet hip width apart, head heavy, face soft, find your breath. We are an inverted V or a mountain peak. Visualize your sit bones as that mountain peak. We're going to inhale it to high plank or high push up position. Shoulders right over those fingertips and then exhale, lift it back to down dog. Inhaling to high plank. Exhale it to down dog. Two more times, guys. Just warming up through the shoulders, through the hips. Keeping those core muscles strong. Let's do that one more time. And meet back in down dog. Shifting your weight to your left foot, right toes to the sky. Exhaling and sweeping that right foot to the outside of your right hand. Toes turned out just slightly. Rotate and extend right arm to the sky. Reach it up high as you can reach. So that little rotation of that hip open. Just get a nice stretch for that right hip. 
Exhale, slowly release that right hand down. Step it back, extend right leg to the sky. And gently release it down to down dog. Inhaling to high plank. Crocodile down. Press it through up dog. And exhale to down dog. And we shift our weight to our right foot, left toes to the sky. Exhaling and sweeping that left foot to the outside of the left hand. Toes turned out just slightly. Rotate your body and extend. Left arm to the sky. Reach it up as high as you can reach. Again, that little rotation of that hip joint, that knee opening out to the side. Just a nice stretch for that left hip through the inner groin. As you exhale, releasing that left hand down, step it back, extend left leg to the sky. And gently release it down. We inhale it to high plank. Crocodile down. Press it through up dog. And exhale to down dog. We inhale up to the balls of the feet. Exhale, press the chest and shoulders towards your thighs. Reach your sit bones high. And as you exhale, let your heels sink. Taking the gaze between your hands, walk, step, or hop to forward fold. Releasing the weight of the upper body down. Arms are heavy. Head is heavy. There's this amazing stretch happening down the backs of the legs. We're checking in. Is the mind quiet? Is your heart happy? Sometimes the answer is no, and that's okay. It is absolutely fine. We're working to get there. It doesn't have to happen all at once. It's incremental. It's progress. It's a journey, guys. Bring the hands to the elbows. Hold on. And just gently sway side to side. So we're making sure we're doing the things that we need to do to take care of ourselves. For that self-care. Showing grace. Showing love. Showing patience. Sometimes we're great with others and not so great with ourselves. Be great with yourself too. You're worth it. Come back to center. Relax your arms. And let's slowly roll it up. So what I mean by taking care of yourself, this is part of it. But making sure you're getting enough rest. Making sure you're drinking enough water. That you're putting good things into your body. Big shoulder rolls. Let's do a couple of them. So you're eating as healthy as you can. I know this time of the year it's hard, you guys. Let's do one more shoulder roll. And let those arms just gently hang down by your side. Let go of the tension. Just let them hang. Stand tall, core strong. I want you to close your eyes and just focus on your posture. Are you standing tall? We want to feel those ears over the shoulders. Shoulders over the hips. Hips over the knees, knees over the ankles. So if you have a tendency to let those shoulders roll forward and hollow the tummy and chest, roll those shoulders back, guys. Stand tall. Now rotate your palms towards the front. Spread your fingers wide and reach with those fingertips. Inhale, reach to the sky. Exhale, swan dive to forward fold. Inhale, up to monkey half lift. Exhale, down, walk, step, or hop to high plank and let's hold our plank you can stay here toes or knees if you like we're gonna bring that left knee to the mat or keep the leg long we're gonna rotate to our side plank and extend right arm to the sky now if that left knee is down that is absolutely fine if the knee is off you can stagger your feet or stack your feet find that extension out of your fingertips reach as high as you can reach Rotate your right palm towards the front, reach it up and over. Feel that length all the way down that right side of your body. Lifting out of that left shoulder, strong through the core. Inhale, reach to the sky. And slowly release your hand down. We come back to plank, taking it directly into the other side or hold your plank. Right knee comes down or leg stays long. We rotate and extend left arm to the sky. So again, if that right knee is down, perfect. If the leg is long, you can stagger your feet or stack them. We're going to lift those hips and we're going to reach as high as we can reach. Rotating that left palm towards the front, reach it up and over. 
Lengthen and extend all the way out through those fingertips. Strong through the core, strong through the shoulder. Our planks, you guys, one of the best exercises we can do to strengthen our entire body. Focus, awareness, inhale, lift that left arm to the sky and slowly release it down, coming back to plank. Lift your hips to down dog. Shifting your weight to your left hand, right hand reaching across to the outside of the left leg. Just take a hold of the leg anywhere you like. Thigh, knee, calf, ankle. And breathe. Releasing that right hand, shifting your weight to the right hand, left hand reaching across to the outside of the right leg, anywhere you like, thigh, knee, calf, ankle, whatever feels right to you. And release that left hand, taking the gaze between your hands, walk, step or hop to forward fold. Inhale up to monkey half lift. Exhale down. Inhale, reverse one dive up. Exhale, left hand down, right arm high, lean in and reach. Our lateral flexion, guys, so great at feeling that extension, making it stand taller. Inhale, reach to the sky. Exhale, other side, left arm up, right arm down. Just feel that stretch all the way down that left side. Inhale, reach to the sky. Pull the hands to heart center and let's take a giant step back, opening up those legs to a nice wide V. So wing stance, if that feels okay to you, and extending those arms out. Rotate palms to the sky. Inhale, reach to the sky. Pull the hands to heart center and let's sink into those legs. Breathe, rolling those knees back. Tucking that pelvis under, belly strong, chest tall. Beautiful. Let's lift that right heel. Breathe. And release. Lift the left heel. And release. Back to the right. Can you sink any lower? If the answer is nope, I'm good. Stay there. Release the right. Lift the left. Breathe. Firing up those muscles in the legs. Gently release. Find a focal point out in front of you. And let's lift both heels. High as you can get them. Breathe. Release the heels. Inhale, reach to the sky. Exhale, open those arms out to a T. Core strong, let's hinge halfway over. We're going to keep those hips side by side, releasing that right hand down, rotating open and extending left arm to the sky. Reach it up as high as you can reach. That left hip wants to lift. We're not going to let it. Find that breath. Can you feel that resistance in the upper back, in the obliques, as we work to keep those hips square? Yeah, that makes us stronger. As you exhale, lift that left hip, press that right inner thigh towards the top of the mat, reach it out, extend, take your gaze to the sky. Circling that left arm around behind your back, forearm along the small of the back, take a hold of that right thigh if you can, hold, if you can find it. Otherwise, just keep that arm nestled against the back as we rotate through the torso, promoting flexibility in the spine. Great stretch to the front of the shoulder. Amazing stretch to the inner thigh of that right leg. Take a big breath in and start to bend that right knee, a little or a lot. Feel how that influences your stretch. Breathe. Take a big breath at that lowest point. And as you exhale, extend that left leg, reach back to the sky and slowly release that left hand down. Left hand takes the place of the right, square those hips, keep them square, rotate and extend right arm to the sky. Now feel how that right hip wants to lift. Keep those hips side by side, keep that pelvis level. Feel and embrace that resistance in the bit in the back, in the obliques, in those hips. As you exhale, lift that right hip, press that inner thigh towards the top of the mat, reach as high as you can reach. And where does your gaze need to be for your neck to be happy? And let's circle that right arm around behind the back, forearm along the small of the back. If you can find that left thigh, hold on to it. Breathe. Give your body, give your mind time to quiet. Find that breath 
as you inhale, begin to bend that left knee a little or a lot. Be nice to your body. Let go of your ego. Come to the point where it feels good to you. Challenging, but good. At that lowest point, take a big breath in. And as you exhale, once again, extend that right leg. Extend that right arm. And slowly lower it down. And we release the weight of the upper body all the way down. If you need to adjust and bring those feet a little closer, feel free to do that. And we're just going to let gravity take a hold of the weight of the upper body. Find your breath. So some options here for the arms. You can let those arms just hang. You can take a hold of the outsides of your ankles. If you've chosen to take a hold of the outsides of the ankles, you're welcome to use the strength of your arms to start to pull that upper body towards the space between your legs. You can bring the hands around behind your back, interlacing your fingers, letting the hands rest on the small of the back, or giving those shoulders a nice big roll up and back, and letting those arms just gently come towards the ground. And we want to make sure that we're not holding tension in that neck. A little tuck of your chin, maybe a little shake of your head, yes or no. Letting go of that tension, guys, just letting that head be heavy. So different options, and you're going to notice different intensities. If it feels right to you, shift some weight forward into your toes. Doesn't matter where the hands are, just shift some weight forward into your toes. Now center your weight, slowly releasing your hands towards the ground. So wherever you are, just let those arms hang. Breathe. Inhale, half lift. And we're going to walk our hands towards our right foot. And we're going to lift the heels so that we can spin those feet to come into a runner's lunge. Core is strong. We lengthen through the crown of the head. You're welcome to bring that back knee to the mat if you like. Otherwise, circle those arms with that knee off. We come up to a crescent lunge. So if that knee is down, we're in a half crescent. If that knee is off, we're in a full crescent. Circle the arms forward around behind all the way up tall pull the hands to heart center and let's turn placing that left elbow to the right knee pressing against the knee and working to bring your hands towards heart center find your breath slow it down we turn back to face front extend those arms overhead Circle the arms to the back. Release your hands on either side of your foot. Bring both hands to the inside of the foot and let's walk those hands back through center. Just let those feet shift as they're ready and then walk those hands towards your left foot. So now we're facing the other side of the mat. We come into that runner's lunge. Either with the knee down or the knee off, circle those arms around behind all the way up tall to our crescent lunge. Shoulders soft and away from the ears, core strong. Pull the hands to heart center. We rotate, placing the elbow to the knee, pressing against the knee, working to bring those hands towards heart center. Breathe. If that back knee is down, let those hips remain heavy. If that back knee is off, give a little push through that back heel. Find your breath and slow it down. Nice, big, deep breath. And we turn back to face front, extending those arms overhead. Circle the arms around behind. Release your hands on either side of your foot. And let's bring both hands to the inside of the foot. And once again, we walk those hands back through to center. Toes turned out to the outside corners of the mat and just release the weight of the upper body down. Nice, big, deep breaths. If you are taking special care of your lower back, place your hands just above your knees, bend your knees and begin to roll up. Back feels amazing. Extend those arms out to a T. We hinge it all the way back up. Beautiful. Give yourself just a second. And we turn those right toes towards the top of the mat. Left toes to about a 45 degree angle and we sink into that warrior two. Chest is tall, core is strong. Inhale, straighten that front leg a little bit. And then exhale, sink. Inhale, straighten. Exhale and sink. 
Inhale, windmill that left arm up and over, tap the floor. Windmill it up and back to reverse warrior. Inhale it up and over, reach out and up and back. Reverse warrior. We're going to do that one more time. Inhale, windmill it up and over. Exhale it back, reverse warrior. Take your gaze towards your back heel. Tuck your chin towards that collarbone. Breathe. Circling that left arm around behind your back, forearm along the small of the back. If you can find that right thigh, hold on to it. And we're going to keep that arm tucked tightly as we inhale it back up. Right arm extends out. Back of the right arm along the inside of the right calf, we turn our gaze up over that left shoulder, rolling that left shoulder back. Breathe. Releasing your left hand, circling it up and over to find that diagonal line. Lengthening and reaching through the fingertips, gazing along the inside of your arm. And inhale, rise back to warrior two. Straightening your front leg, back arm onto the back leg, front palm to the sky, sweep it up and back. Reverse triangle. That hand sliding down that back leg, that right fingertip reaching back. And inhale it back up, windmilling that left arm up and over, placing your hand along the inside of your right foot. Rotate your body and extend right arm to the sky. Reach it up as high as you can reach. Breathe. Exhaling and releasing that right hand down. One hand on either side of your foot. Front knee bends. Back heel comes off the mat. We lift those hips, sweeping it back. And extend right leg to the sky. And gently release it down to down dog. Holding your down dog. Grabbing a drink of water. Or a strength challenge if you like. We inhale it to high plank. Toes or knees, we're going to do a variation of our push-ups. We're going to do one chaturanga or crocodile. And then we're going to rock back to our heels and turn those toes. <laughs> Just kidding. The heels of your hands and turn your fingertips in. And then one push-up. Back to the heels of the hands. Fingertips point forward. One push-up. Back to the heels of the hands. Turn your fingertips in. One push-up. Turn those fingertips back, lift your hips to down dog. I love when my brain does stuff like that. And gently alternate bending knees, walk it out. Nice big deep breaths. As you exhale, let your heels sink. Checking in. How are we doing guys? Are we finding that joy in movement? Is the heart happy? Is the head quiet? I hope so. Blood is flowing. Just amazing what the beautiful body can do. Taking the gaze between your hands, walk, step, or hop to forward fold. Inhale up to monkey half lift. Exhale down. Inhale, reverse one dive up. Exhale, left hand down, right arm high, lean in and reach. Inhale, both arms come up. And exhale, other side, lean in and reach. Inhale, both arms come up, and exhale, swan dive to forward fold. Inhale, up to monkey half lift. Exhale down, walk, step, or hop to high plank, crocodile down. Press it through, up dog, and exhale to down dog. Breathe. Shifting your weight to your right foot, left toes to the sky. Exhaling and sweeping that left foot through. Back heel to the mat, windmill your arms up to warrior two. Hips, chest, and shoulders open to the side. Gaze out over your front middle finger. Inhale, straighten that front leg a little bit. And then exhale, sink. Again, inhale, straighten. And exhale, sink. On your next inhale, windmill that right arm up and over, reach out, tap. Take it up and back, reverse warrior. Inhale it up and back, reach, reach, reach. And reverse warrior. One more time, inhale, reach it out, tap the floor. 
sweep it up and back to reverse warrior hold here reaching out through those left fingertips right hand sliding down that back leg let's turn our gaze towards our back heel a little tuck of your chin towards that right collarbone circling that right arm around behind your back if you can find that left thigh hold on to it breathe lengthen and reach keeping that right arm tucked tight inhale it back up to warrior two back of that left arm along the inside of that left calf take your gaze up over that right shoulder roll that right shoulder back strong through the core find your breath circling that right arm up and over find that diagonal line reach it out gaze along the inside of that right arm big slow deep breaths and inhale it back up to warrior two straightening your front leg back arm onto the back leg front palm to the sky sweep it up and back reverse triangle lengthening and reaching through those left fingertips right hand sliding down that back leg and let's inhale it back up windmill that right arm up and over placing your hand along the inside of your foot adjust your feet if you need to rotate your body and extend left arm to the sky reach it up high as you can reach find that breath feel that stretch be present wherever your feet are wherever your breath is be there exhale and slowly release your hand down one hand on either side of your foot front knee bends back heel comes off the mat we lift our hips sweep it back and extend left leg to the sky and gently release it down holding your down dog or another opportunity for a strength challenge if you like we inhale it to high plank toes or knees we're going to come to a variation of bird dog we shift our weight to our left foot right leg lifts flex your foot doing our best to keep those hips and shoulders square shift your weight to your right hand left arm extends breathe and release shift your weight to your right foot left leg lifts core strong shift your weight to your left hand right arm extends again a variation of bird dog and release lift your hips to down dog meeting back in down dog and gently alternate bending knees walk it out nice big deep breaths we inhale it up to the balls of the feet exhale press the chest and shoulders toward your thighs reach your sit bones high and exhale let your heels sink we inhale it to high plank releasing that right knee to the mat if you like otherwise legs stay long we rotate coming back to our side plank reaching up coming to wild thing we lift that top leg bend the knee placing the foot behind us about knee height reach to the sky and then slowly take that arm up and out as the tummy and chest open beautiful stretch all through the front of the body strong through the glutes strong through the belly strong through that shoulder inhale slowly rolling back to side plank and gently releasing back to plank we take it directly into the other side left knee comes down if you like otherwise legs are long feet can be staggered or stacked we lift and we reach we lift that top leg bending the knee placing the foot behind us about knee height reach to the sky and then as you exhale open up and out with that right arm oh just let that arm be heavy strong through the core strong through that shoulder slowly we roll it back to our side plank and gently release it down to plank lift your hips to down dog and gently alternate bending knees walk it out nice big deep breaths exhaling and releasing the heels towards the mat we inhale it to high plank crocodile down 
press it through up dog hold your up dog we're on the tops of the feet shoulders are rolled back as you exhale tuck the toes lift the hips to down dog find your breath and if you exhale take the gaze between your hands walk step or hop to forward fold bend your knees as much as you need to to get the hands to the mat we're going to lift that right foot sliding your right hand palm side up and gently place the sole of your foot against the palm of your hand lining your toes up with the heel of your hand left foot lifts left hand slides under and gently place the palm of the hand and the sole of the foot together relax the weight of the upper body down gorilla pose intensifying our gorilla pose by shifting weight forward into the balls of the feet and the toes lengthen through the crown of the head core strong begin to rise extending those arms extending through the crown of the head strong through that belly stretching the wrists the forearms the hamstrings the calves that lower back slowly releasing it down let's do that one more time inhale lengthen through the crown of the head slowly we begin to lift the upper body just getting that nice stretch to the wrists and the forearms we've done a lot of stuff with those wrists today and that flexion we just want to give them a little release and slowly release it down rock back to one heel release your hand and then the other inhale it up to monkey half lift exhale down inhale reverse one dive up once again lateral flexion exhale left hand down right arm high inhale both arms come up exhale other side lean in and reach inhale both arms come up and exhale swan dive to forward fold inhaling up to monkey half lift exhale down walk step or hop to high plank crocodile down press it through up dog and sit it back to child's pose breathe so we gave those wrists a little break because we're going to ask a little bit more of them coming to crow pose for our balancing pose today super fun balancing pose for the arms if you are uncertain of arm balances if there is another pose that you love you are welcome to do that if you'd like to give it a shot and you are uncomfortable a little bit kind of apprehensive place a pillow out in front so we're going to walk those hands up coming up to a kneeling position we're going to tuck our toes and we're going to open up those feet just a little bit wider than our hips and we're going to kind of sink down into those hips just a nice little stretch so kind of a crouching frog pose crouching tiger pose if you like and we're going to pull those hands back towards us so that they're right underneath our shoulders so again if you'd like a pillow put it right out in front of you here so that if you do happen to go forward you have a super soft landing um, otherwise this is not jumping guys so it's a nice easy progression i don't mean it's an easy pose it's an easy progression so we're not going to force anything to happen that's not ready to happen too too quickly so it's a very finesse based pose so we're going to bend the elbows and we're going to place the knees either the insides of the knees right at the base of your tricep just above your elbow or you can actually get those knees kind of right in to your armpit and line your shin up with the back of your arm along the tricep so our fingers are spread nice and wide and we're going to slowly start to shift our weight forward now we're not going to jump in our big toes are going to stay connected to the mat to the point where you can transition weight forward and your toes just hover off the mat so you can come in and out of this pose as many times as you like you can shift and try different positions so bringing the insides of the knees to the backs of the elbows lining up the shins and the backs of your triceps so just playing with it and coming in and out of the pose as much as you like as you've had enough come down and we're going to open up those feet just a bit a little bit wider than your hips and those toes turn out hands are there for support and we're going to interlace our fingers and we're just going to roll our wrists so another beautiful wrist stretch now i want you to notice which way you're going if you can tell 
because when we reverse the other direction, it's going to feel totally foreign and it's kind of funny. So reverse that. <sighs> hmm. It takes a second, but you'll get it. But it's great for the wrists. Now just bring those hands to heart center. Elbows to the insides of your knees. We come to garland pose, drawing that pelvis through. And I want you to be mindful of where your weight is in your feet. We oftentimes have this tendency to roll forward into the arches of our feet. I want you to see if you can press the outside edges of your feet into the mat. That's gonna help lift your chest a little bit more and to draw that pelvis through a little bit more. Find your breath. Slow it down. Release your hands and extend those legs. Relax the weight of the upper body down. Now, depending upon where you are on your mat, we're either going to walk those hands forward or walk your feet back or a little bit of both. Crocodile down. Press it through up dog. And let's sit it back to child's pose. Awesome job. Nice, big, deep breaths. So that crow pose, guys, oh, it should be fun. I know it's a super challenging place to be. So just, you know, come in and out of it as much as you like. Play with it. Just be safe. And let's slowly walk those hands up. Come over onto one hip. Let's slide down to the top of the mat. Extending those legs out nice and long. Drawing your right foot in. Bending that knee, sitting up as tall as you can sit, and add a flex of that left foot. Draw those shoulders down and away. Breathe. If it feels right to you, cross that right foot over the left knee. Pull the knee in nice and tight. If you like, bring that right hand behind you. Sit up nice and tall. Wrap the crook of that left elbow around your knee and pull it in as tight as you can. Now slowly turn your gaze out over that right shoulder and tuck your chin towards your right collarbone. Now we want to be mindful we're not leaning back. So if that hand's too far back, it can feel nice, but it's not great on your back. And anytime we add a rotation, we really want to make sure that we've got the length in the spine to create space between those vertebrae before we twist. So really keep that length. If you like, shift that left elbow to the top of the knee and press. Breathe, pressing against that knee, deepening that rotation. Make sure your back is ready for it. Massaging those internal organs with all of our twists. Promoting digestion, elimination. Slowly releasing that twist. Releasing that right leg. Flex your feet. Reach to the sky. Lengthen and hinge it forward. Tummy down. Chest down. Hands. And relax the weight of your head. I don't know about you guys, but my back always says, oh, thank you. Every time I come to this pose. Sometimes it takes a few. Gotta work out the kinks. Gotta get the body ready. Inhale, reach it out. Sit up nice and tall. Release your hands down by your sides. And let's pull that left knee in. Sitting up nice and tall. Draw those shoulders down and away. Add a flex of that right foot. So we're always mindful of our posture, right? We really want to keep that best posture as long as we possibly can. Crossing that left foot up and over the right and sit up tall. So just getting a deeper stretch for that left hip. Feels good to you. Wrap the crook of that right elbow around your knee and bring that right hand, or I'm sorry, that left hand behind you. Sit up as tall as you can sit. Really get that length in the spine before your rotation too deep and then take your gaze out over that back shoulder with a little tuck of your chin towards that left collarbone. So we're just checking in with our breath, with the back, with the hip, with the knee, just making sure everything is working together to let go of tension. If you like, bringing that right elbow to the top of that left knee, press against the knee, getting that deeper rotation Still keeping that length, making sure we're not leaning back onto that left hand. So you might notice that this kind of fires up your obliques too. Such a great stretch. 
and then gently release that rotation. Extending left leg out, flex your feet, reach to the sky, lengthen and hinge it forward. Release your hands, relax the weight of your head. Inhale, reach it out. Sit up nice and tall. Core strong, lower the arms to shoulder height, soften your feet, close your eyes, and just ever so slowly begin to roll yourself back. And relax. Drawing your right foot in towards your bottom and then your left. Hands come down by your sides, palms to the floor. Tuck the pelvis so that the small of the back presses into the mat. Let's press through our heels and begin to lift those hips towards the sky. Peeling your spine off the mat. One vertebra at a time. Up to bridge pose. Bridge pose, such a great place. Squeezing those buns, activating hamstrings and glutes. Knees remain right in line with those hips. Hands come behind the back, interlacing the fingers and working to extend those arms out long. If you like, roll your shoulders underneath you one at a time. Helping to stack those shoulders to lift those hips. Keeping the knees right in line with those hips. Breathe. Slow, steady breaths. Wonderful for realigning the spine, strengthening the glutes, strengthening the core, releasing your hands, unrolling one shoulder at a time, and then slowly release it back down, one vertebra at a time, till your bottom is the very last to touch. We cross that right ankle over the left knee, pulling the knees in, reaching your right hand through that little window. Interlace your fingers behind that left thigh and use the strength of the arms to pull those legs in. Nestling the shoulders down against the earth, pulling those knees in, getting that great stretch for that right hip. And gently releasing the intensity, releasing the hands. Left foot comes to the mat. Right leg crosses all the way over the left. Right arm extends out to a T. Left hand to the top of that right knee and just gently guide both knees to the left. Keeping both shoulders on the mat. Turn your gaze out over that right arm. Close your eyes. Just find your breath. Slow it down. Just working to let go tension, tightness. You can stack that left leg on top of the right foot if that feels good to you. And we release that left hand, slowly rolling back to center, placing that right foot to the mat. Left foot crosses above the right knee. Pull those knees in and reach that left hand through that little window, interlacing your fingers behind that right thigh. Use the strength of your arms to pull those legs in, nestle those shoulder blades down, and find those big deep breaths. Now sometimes when we come into poses, particularly when they're a deeper stretch, we've got to give our body a breath or two to realize we're not going to ask more than it's ready to give, right? So sometimes that initial tightness, tension, will start to disappear as our breath stays calm and deep. Gently releasing the hands, placing that right foot to the mat, left leg crosses all the way over the right, left arm extends out to a T, right hand to the top of the left knee and just gently let both knees fall to the right. Oh, keeping both shoulders on the mat best you can. Let your gaze be wherever it needs to be feels right to you, you can stack that right leg up and over that left foot. That just kind of helps keep it in place if that feels good to you. Spinal flexibility, wringing out tension, tightness, worry, negative energy. Amazing stretch for that left hip. This feels so good. Releasing that right hand, slowly rolling back to center, pulling that left knee in towards your chest and then the right. Hands to the shins just below your knees. Little rock side to side. 
we come back to center. Release your hands down by your sides. Extend your legs to the sky. Flex your feet. Oh, feel that good stretch through the calf. That activation through the front of the shins, through the feet, point your toes. Now either individually, one leg at a time, or both legs simultaneously, slowly lower the legs. Keeping the small of the back, pressing into the mat. Now those knees can be bent to minimize how much weight you're taking down. So really be mindful of that lower back. Bent knees are a great alternative. Individual leg, great alternative and then ever so gently let your legs come to rest. We pull the soles of the feet together, pulling those heels up towards your bottom. Knees open out nice and wide to a reclined butterfly, resting your hands on your hips. Open up your fingers, spread your palms, rest the palms against the hips. There's healing energy in those hands. Let that healing energy Transfer down into those hips, letting go of any resistance that may be hiding. Soothing energy from your breath throughout the body. We're present right here, breath slow calm we let that mind be quiet now we can stay right here or if you are more comfortable with those legs out nice and long maybe on your side or even in a seated position we're going to come to a place where we feel safe relaxed, totally at ease. Each breath we take a reminder of the celebration of life, the amazing gift of this adventure. Our breath, a powerful tool in this journey called life helping to quiet the nervous system, to calm, to heal, to ward off negativity and fear, to bring us back to balance, and to help find that peaceful place Let your mind relax. Let your heart remain open. Celebrate all of the wonderful quirky characteristics that you get to call your very own that set you apart from everyone else. Know that you are beautiful. You are important. You make a difference and you are loved. Allow yourself just a few more moments. To relax and to breathe. And ever so gently, our breath begins to deepen. We start to move the smaller muscles in the hands and the feet. We stretch our limbs. And taking the time you need, drawing your knees up and over onto your side. Using the strength of your arms to help you come up to a seated position that feels right to you. Sit tall. Rest your hands comfortably, close your eyes, and take big, deep breaths. And as we bring our practice to a close, just a few words that you're welcome to take with you or just let them float on by. Each day is yours to make it what you will. Choose to go big. 
Let's gently open the eyes. Take a big breath in, reach to the sky. And exhale, pull the hands to heart center. It was fun to have you with me. Thank you so much for choosing to join me. I hope your day is filled with adventure and love and fun and laughter and all the wonderful things that life has to offer. Be well, you guys. Keep your head on straight. Keep breathing. Keep moving. Keep doing all that you're doing to stay healthy, happy, emotionally, mentally, physically, all of it, guys. I'm always here for you. I've always got your back. If you have anything that you need, please don't hesitate to ask. Always here for you. I hope you will subscribe. I hope you enjoy each and every session. If you ever need anything, just let me know. I'm just an email or a comment away. Be well. Take care. And until the next time, namaste.